and let's call this one you do okay that's perfect now let's all double click here I want to see if we have the camera one the you layer the tube layer and the pre comps so that's perfect let's go to the final and let's apply the let's let's create a new layer layer new solid let's call this one particles okay make it let's make it a blue layer okay okay let's apply particular particular okay it's right here then click on the emitter uh, particles per second let's click on the stopwatch click one move one frame right here you can press right here or or page down let's click page down now change it to zero so we just want to meet one particle yeah now go to the particle and click live make it like 200 seconds it doesn't have to be so large but let's make it 200 seconds now go to particle type click custom now on the layer click youtube now it says a warning your your custom particle layer is big it doesn't matter click ok now uh, the size is gonna is going to be little little a little size so we want to make it bigger yeah bigger size we like bigger sizes <laughs> size 5 increase it that's like 217 that's that's good now let's hide this layer now create a floor layer new solid call this one floor okay make it a 3d layer uh click down on toggle switches make it a 3d layer rotate it on the x-axis click shift so you can make it, make it perfect 90 degrees angle move it down like that make it bigger scale like that now let's make a background layer new solid let's call this one bg background let's make it um we that's beautiful color now let's make it 3d move it back on the c-axis like like a lot then scale it up yeah like that now if you turn this layer on you're not going to be able to see it but if you move the background the floor down you will be able to see it now so you can see here this layer is got let's make it the resolution quarter to see it better and faster now so you can see here it's going up it's going up we don't want to go it up we want it going down and bouncing on the floor so let's go to the particles and the physics instead of fixes physics model click bounce and on the bounce click it and floor plane floor and the gravity let's make it like uh, 400 so when it going down fast now let's let's see wow that's that's great you can see there it's doing something but it's not looking right it's like falling on top of the background now let's do something to fix it
um, let's go here click on the background move it back on the c-axis click shift then scale it up and let's drag now also as you can see now to fix it better let's go to layer new camera 35 millimeters that's great now let's try it now the background we need to make it larger that's it now move the camera in you will be able to see it move it a little bit more in yeah and that's looking good that's looking great yeah now let's take the background and the floor and make a effect generate um ramp let's make it i'm gonna make it a blue a dark blue a dark blue and the second one i'm gonna make it black yeah now in the ramp shape click radio radio now let's move this one like that and let's move the other one like that yeah i like that now let's do the same thing for the background L effect generate ramp two colors let's make the same colors like a dark blue instead of let me get let me make it a dark blue and a white yeah and a gray like that let's make a radio and let's move this one like right here and this one like right here and this one like that uh, let's make it a little darker, darker this one let's make it black yeah it looks better does it look better let's make this one a little like that that's looking better yeah now that's that's looking great and the portal goes let's move the emitter a little bit up the y-axis let's move it up yeah like that now let's preview it as you can see here it's looking pretty good yeah and you can see the possibilities it doesn't have to be youtube it can be text it can be images it can be symbols it can be anything you want just follow this process and do the same thing for all the other things if you want to make a 3d text or a symbol i don't know you think it. but isn't that cool a 3d logo in after effects i think that's awesome now what i did in the original comp was to add a uh, layer new adjustment layers then click here and type curves let's darken up like that and I add some color correction uh, and let's preview it as you can see it's taking long to render but
that's it it's looking pretty good so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope that you would come come out with something better uh just follow this process and create something great um i'll be making some more tutorials and i'll be posting them soon so subscribe and keep on track okay bye guys thanks a lot and i hope you found this tutorial exciting